Hey guys, this is Josh from ProBloggerIncome.com, and today I just wanted to cover um, an intro to SEMrush and using the tools included um, just to basically open up your competitor, or in the case I'm going to cover today, just Quora, and uh, look at how you can see their top ranking content based on keywords and give you a chance to strip away down to a couple keywords that you want to focus on to try and take away from the competition. And then at the end I'm going to go ahead and jump over to um, Outdoor Gear Lab just to kind of show, uh, since they're a gigantic website, uh, just what you can use it for with bigger sites too, to try and um, understand the competition and find those cracks that they're uh, working on and sometimes help you find new keywords or directions for your website that you hadn't uh, thought of initially. Hopefully this is of value to everybody, and I'd love to hear from you if it was in the comments below. Thank you. We'll get right to it. Hey guys, what you see here is the SCM Rush main screen. It's your dashboard, basically, where you start everything from for looking specifically at keywords and um, looking at your competitors, you want to go ahead and move over to organic research. Inside organic research, you will put in the URL you want to look at. So in our case, what we're going to do is just go to core.com because we're just looking for some low competition stuff to try and uh, better position our websites. What you want to do is go over to positions and then you're going to want to change the position range to top 10 and then once this completes everything that's in the top 10 will be here so you'll see there's five almost six million that's far too much to actually sort through so what i suggest is advanced filters you're going to include your keyword so in this case what we'll do is just do bonsai tree and we can apply. Now everything that's in the top 10 for Quora that actually contains the word bonsai tree is what we're gonna get as a result. So there's 152 results, which means technically there's probably 152 possibilities just from Quora alone that you could probably write articles for and rank fairly regularly as long as you wrote very good content. Um, I tend to take it one more step because I wanna go for like super long tail. So I go in here and go one more at a condition change this down and you can actually go to word count and then I always do greater than so greater than means so if two it means that it's going to need three words or more for it to count so what I do is typically set this to three so I get at least four words and then apply this should bring the list down a little bit more it'll get rid of some of the shorter tail stuff so now it's down to 130 so from here you can take a look and see there's by position by the actual um, rankings. I don't really pay attention to the rankings as much because they're very different between each person. And then what I care about really is volume, position, and a little bit on the keyword difficulty. That's kind of a hodgepodge, though, because if I look at the SERPs, you can win more than what it says you can win. So what you do here is you can do position if you want. You can take a look at what's there by first place. So, miniature bonsai tree kit, urban outfitters, instructions. Right? It seems very specific. But I mean, it's got a volume of 30. So, it's something you may want to look at if you're doing bonsai trees to go look at what this is and try and make sense. Maybe you can get a link to them. Maybe the instructions are just very wonky and people need to make them. But this is how you can use the tools inside SEMrush to go look at a specific website and go look at the keywords they rank for, then go find what you see as easy cracks to go take over. So life of a bonsai tree, right? They rank three. There's only 30 searches supposedly, but as we all know, the 30 searches is only for, <coughs> you know, this actual keyword itself, but there's going to be you know, 100 that your post would rank for. So this could be 300, could be 3,000 in the end. What I wanted to do next is just kind of jump over and show another actual website. So we're just going to do Outdoor Gear Lab because 
it's a super gigantic monolithic site that isn't going to be impaired by anybody understanding what's there. And as you'll see, it's going to come up with nothing because we have our filter in here still for trees. So what we want to do, we can change it over to something like, uh, we can change it, we'll do tens. And we'll keep it at three, greater than three words, right? So now you're just doing outdoor gear lab, what they rank for with the word tents in it, that's four words or longer. And as you'll see, that's 185 for them. So again, you could use this to go look and see what they have. I would suggest also, if you really aren't sure where to go for your keywords, you could put in your competitor here and then just remove these filters. And what will happen is it's just going to give you um, everything that they know of. So in this case, look, they're ranking for 76,471 keywords, right? This may help you kind of understand some additional directions you could go on your website while staying within your niche itself, because maybe you weren't actually aware of how many people would use uh, Starbucks via on the trail. Since I think it's packets that you can take with you to drink. But this is how you can use this tool to kind of get some more keyword options and give yourself a direction to write. So typically I'll go through here and try and find stuff. Uh, when you target like forums, you can see when forums rank number one for a topic. And then obviously, you know, if they rank number one, you can easily uh, acquire that number one ranking if you write good content and take the spot. Um, hopefully that part helps you. That's just a better way to utilize the tool more effectively instead of just throwing things at it. Thanks guys for being here while I record this video. I hope that you learned something useful today. And if you did, I would also love for you to come by ProBloggerIncome.com and just check out what I have. I have covered quite a bit of um, topics. It's all around affiliate income, finding keywords, making money, and then WordPress itself. And within WordPress, I've got a bunch of stuff that covers Akrabato. I've got some stuff that's covering Carbonite. And I'm working on adding more content daily. Um, the other part that people find really interesting is the niche setups that I've done and just the kind of um, information to kind of teach you what's there. And then each one's more specifically about making a decision on niche selection instead of just getting the same old, same old that everybody gets. I try and cover a bunch of different directions so that way you have some ideas that maybe will take you outside of the normal um, and get you exploring what's interesting. Um, if you liked everything, please feel free to comment below. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't been here before. And uh, as always, if you're interested, uh, please come over to the website and find what you like. Leave me a comment if you'd like me to cover something specifically as a niche. And Talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Please hit like and subscribe, and I'll make more stuff.